All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ivan, we got Michael over here, and today is exciting days. As you guys saw by the thumbnail, I bought a really cheap boat. So, uh, last one we bought didn't really work out. Then I saw this one playing, wasn't really like looking for a boat. And then I clicked a couple times, I won it, you know? It's on my bucket list to have a big boat, you know? We're gonna start small and cheap. No, well, well big hard. and cheap. Yeah, big and cheap. So we still got the trailer that we got from last time. Had to fix that up a little bit, get the brakes and all that working good, but it's all good. We finally made it to the yard. I haven't seen it yet. I got the tape measure, so hopefully if it's good enough. We haven't even seen inside pictures. All we've Nothing. seen is the outside. No idea. We paid a lot in storage fees, but it is what it is. Um, really excited. Let's go ahead and drive up there and see what I bought, if we're actually going to take it or not. Right, we're going to measure it, make sure it's safe. Because safety is number one. Safety is number one, we yeah. we got to make so. sure it'll fit on the trailer and it's the right length, because it's hard to find all these right things. You know, yeah, it's... and then if it's like really bad, we're just going to leave it. Yeah, I mean... Gonna... Take a it's loss and worth, move on. Yeah, but I'm strength. excited still. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've yeah. been, you know, it's been almost a week since I won it. I'm like, let's go, let's go. But finally got here. It's only like four hour drive here. But anyways, let's go ahead and go check it out. I am excited. We'll see. Mini yacht. Mini yacht. They say boats are uh, happiest when you buy it and happiest when you sell it. Money pits. Money pits. <laughs> probably. Oh, oh, probably. Boy. But at least it got it cheap enough to start with, yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody has to buy them and rebuild these things, so it's definitely a possibility. Or we'll just resell it, you know, whatever. I mean, it'd be so cool to just make it float, put it somewhere in a pond. Like, I mean, who needs motors? I mean, they yeah, look like they're trash. Trolley or something, yeah. I think I see it. I think I see it. Yeah, there's a couple boats. It's the bigger one. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. That thing's huge, Ivan. Maybe you can help us load it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Yeah, that thing is huge. Good thing we brought a tape measure. It looks big from here. Ah, it doesn't look that big. It's small. It's long, actually. That one's shorter. Dang. Ding, 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 ding. Alright guys, so here is my wonderful purchase of three hundred dollars. Woohoo! I think was it three hundred? I think it was three hundred, but all the storage is probably double that by now. The storages and then the fees, so we're close to like five hundred. Probably thousand dollars <laughs> at the end now. Probably like eight hundred, some of that yeah. around there. But it's actually, I just did a quick measurement. It's only ten feet wide, so that's good. That's really good. The last boat we had was twelve feet wide, and you needed permits. So ten feet don't need permits. Yeah. I don't think. Maybe. If anything, we'll shave down the sides a little bit. But let's check out the obvious, you know. From the pictures we saw, these motors, they're shot. How does I that mean, even happen? It's like rusted through. Aren't these things meant to be in the water? Yes, salt water. Wow, that's crazy. So, 100% they're bad, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's bad. But we can go inside. Let's just wait until we go inside. Let's keep checking out the outside. Yeah. So we got these little flaps. Pretty cool. It's on blocks. Yeah. Pretty does, cool. Does it come with the blocks or? No. It's got a little window. Is it a window? Yeah. There's inside. No. no? Fake. Fake? Fake window. Vent. Probably something. And this is a bay liner. Didn't they say bay liners are like the ch cheapest of the cheapest? I don't know. It doesn't matter what kind, but I guess, yeah. Well, it's a bay liner. 30, 55. Syria? Syria? Yeah. I, th I think I want this one instead. <laughs> Dang. They're both from Hilton Head. Oh my goodness. But it's, um, the sticker's almost a year old, right? No. Yeah. Well, I said she's got a new title. Oh. And they had to get that. Who knows? Sound climb is weird. But, uh, yeah, this side looks pretty good. Everything looks here good. Huge. This, oh, look at that window. That one's a window? That's just a yeah. hole. No, it's a window that opens. Oh, wow. So probably the other side too, then. It could be, yeah. Maybe yeah. it's locked. Yeah, it has to be a window. But nothing came out, so that's a good sign, right? Yeah. And then I saw this. So oh, that'll, that'll buff out. It's just a gel coat, you know? Yeah. 
So we got gas we could put in it. It ain't moving for no. a long time. But the last, oh. last boat was waterlogged. So basically a bunch of water was inside and that yeah. was the problem. So as long as this thing doesn't have too much weight in it, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Are you excited? Are you ready to go inside? Living the dream. Let's do it. Let's go. It's stable. Yeah, it feels pretty good. You're, I feel like a boat owner already. You're tall, Ivan. Man, we should, we should just measure really quick. So what's our height? I think 12.8. 12.8. We're not going to be off the ground. It's probably like right here. No, it's going to be off the ground. It's like... Well, it's on blocks. It's lifted up. That's 12 right there. That's not bad. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah, we can go lower it anyway. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to be good with the height. For sure. What about the overall length though? Oh, we should be good. Is it's a 35 footer trailer. So. Push the door opens. No way. Operational door. Operational. Let's get up Oh there. man. Come on in, Michael. Come on in. So one thing I recognized right away, the steering wheel. It's exactly the same as the other one. Classic. It is a bay liner. This, yeah, That's same. That's classic. So, but it's, uh, so far I wouldn't say it's not crazy flooded. Yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and open the engine. Engine compartment bay. Yeah, Come that on side, in. yeah. Probably a seat or something, not the thing. Hopefully nothing jumps out on us. Ooh, wow. I ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. This thing made my fire up. No way. It's got what a generator. That? That's the generator for yeah. you? Yeah. So wow. we can drain the water out of it. That's definitely yeah, you got drain. the uh, bridge pump right there, so. But yeah. I mean, we should be able to just unscrew it or something. Unscrew the plug, maybe? Yeah. That's actually not bad. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. I mean, it's rusted and. 250 horsepower. Two of them. Oh, yeah, there's another one right there, right? Yeah. I was going to say, this one's easy to get to, but. That one should go up, and that should be easy to get yeah. to. So far, That's this is bad. good. That's not bad at all. This is good. I'm, I'm liking this. I wouldn't say there's like water damage. No, a little dusty. A little dusty. A little sink right here. Check that out, Evan. Yep, yeah, I don't know. What you can like. You can see me driving this thing. Oh, like, yeah, this is nice. Are ready to go inside? Let's well, let's check out the seats. Look at these seats. They're not like horrible. I think it'll wash out, yeah. You know, I mean, a little bit of stitching there, but there. But this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Yeah, we got a free cooler. A bunch of keys. Imagine this thing spinning over somehow. Well, the, the, the props are bad, so. We'll just disconnect that, but. What is that? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's like a top slide off. How do you get to the front? Can you go hang out in the front too? Yeah. Some, yeah. Somehow. Look at this. It smells like an old camper. It smells like an old camper. Ooh. This is like crazy spacious though. Wow. We're literally inside the boat, guys. It's not even like. This is nice. It smells this like is a camper. Nice. This is nice. Okay, that's my bad. That's just the plastic can I'm you, stepping on. Can you not break my um <laughs> cover top thingy? It's got a bed, kitchen, cooktop, coffee maker, microwave. Wow, that's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. This is way better than the last one that we got. Yeah, the last one I don't think we went inside. It was it was destroyed. Like it, it destroyed. literally sank underwater. Yeah. This one, not bad. Oh, so you think we should try to load it then? Let's load her up, man. Man. Kind of cool. What's over there? Another oh, there's another bed over there under the thing. Oh, wow. It's like a under bunk. Under bunk. That's cool. That is cool. And then there's a bathroom shower. Where? Next to you on the side. Yeah. Nice. A little dirty in here. You got a fire hydrant. Yeah. So bathroom. How about a shower? This was probably just sitting at a marina when people just used it, you know? Yeah, you could actually, probably... it's a little rental, Airbnb. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. So let's go outside, let's measure it up really quick, and then we're gonna see if we can uh, maybe drain the water. Yeah. And then take it home. Try to uh, load this thing. Nice. Not bad. 
Okay, so basically we found the batteries. They're over there, not too corroded, so it's nice. We're gonna put power to it and see if we can turn on the bridge pump and get this water out to make it less heavy and put on the trailer. So let's see, we got one we put power on it. I hear something, so that's good. Like a fan or something, so. Something's working. Should be over here or something. Too many buttons, we gotta figure it out. There it is, look at all these switches. There's the blower. Windshield wiper, that's crazy. Somewhere. How about this side right here? Well, overall the gauges look good, there's power, things are working. Look at that screen. What is that screen? Is it like a fish finder or something? Or? I don't know, GPS probably or something. Yeah, nice big display. I mean, there's definitely money on here. Stuff that's worth money. And I cannot find the village pumps. Hmm. Basically, just needed like a garden hose and siphon that water out. That's moving. Yeah, look. That That's crazy. There's potential. Probably a different set of batteries for the house itself inside. I don't think so. Now you think it's all off right here? Yeah, they're connected. Look at all the space though. I feel like you definitely could have utilized that, but all good. Alright, so we're just going to try to bypass the switches and put power directly to what we think is the pump. Let's try it out. Why not? That might be a negative. Hmm, get some wire strippers. And the fun begins, trying to get this trailer underneath the boat. Centimeters at a time. So we're going back and forth. We have to readjust those bars over there, basically for the trailer, lifting it up the front end, backing it up. All right, guys, we've been going at it for hours. It's kind of stressful. A little bit here, a little bit there. Trying to be safe. That's a big boat. You don't want flipping over. <laughs> but we're trying. Making it work. Alright, just like that, we got this thing loaded. <laughs> just like that. That was a long five hours or four hours. Yeah, sure. Was. So we got kicked out, we gotta, you know, get out, but we got this thing, finally got it strapped down. It's looking pretty good. We gotta pump up there a little bit because we actually lowered them to keep sliding underneath because it was, I don't know why this boat was harder than the other boat. The other boat I did by myself and this one, I don't know. Because it's probably a bay liner, that's why. Maybe. So, but uh, we got a long road trip ahead of us. We got like four hour drive. But we're still hungry, so we'll probably get some food and then, yeah. then we'll hit the road. Well, we gotta go probably gas, fill up, you know, maybe find a truck stop, fill up the tire pressure is really good, and slowly truck home. Because uh, I measured it was like 13.5, 13.8 for the roof. So we're good right there with the bridges, because in South Carolina all the bridges are labeled. So that's a good thing. And we're probably gonna hit the road at night, so, you know, it's getting dark, the sun's going down. But I'm tired, I'm gonna go wash up, and we'll uh, continue the journey. Alright guys, it's the next day. We got this thing parked right next to the RV. And I did not think it was that long, but the RV is like maybe a foot longer than the boat. That's crazy how big this boat is. But think about the, the RV pulling this boat. You think it'll do it, Michael? That would be very long. <laughs> I mean, you need, probably need a special license for that. 
but the trailer did pretty good. We only got one tire that fell off, which is, you know, <laughs> yeah, just unexpected. The yeah. other one I think is wobbling, but we made it home. We got it back, the boat's here, so now we could either let it sit here for the rest of its life or maybe work on it. But I'm excited. This is like, we finally got a boat, the biggest boat we've had in the yard. Oh yeah. So, Forks, that's all the time you guys for, we got for this episode, you guys. Leave us a comment down below. Do you think it was a good idea that I got this for, what, 300 bucks plus fees, well, you know, whatnot? That's grand. I got a grand right here in this boat. I think that's a good deal. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. I mean, the engines are probably bad, but interior is not too bad. Leave us a comment down below. Should we take this thing apart, you know, to see if we get these engines to go, or should we just let it sit here, you know? I think we should, you know, take it apart a little bit and see if we get the engines to spin over. I mean, the outboards are definitely garbage you know maybe unbolt them maybe get some power inside see if we get the inside working because it's got an inverter it's got a generator it's got a microwave and it'll be pretty cool to get this thing you know working working or we could just put it in the water somewhere and see if it floats a little house you know but anyways you guys leave us a comment down below and we'll catch you guys next time